Improvisation. Improvisation is another form of comedy. It's also referred to as the game. And the game has some basic fundamental rules. Instinct. Always trust your first instincts. Yes and. There's something called yes and, and you'll hear this term a lot in improv. It basically means that you cooperate and agree with your scene partner. You must say yes to them and add more to the scene by giving new information. If your scene partner asks you a yes or no question, remember to always say yes and see where it goes. Usually saying no bogs down creativity. Storyline. Create a storyline, dilemma, or situation early in the scene. Listening. Listen carefully and pay attention to everything that happens on stage. Use everything your scene partner gives you. Character. Whatever character you choose, make sure you commit to it. Keep the attitude, intent, desire, posture, physical appearance, and manner of speaking. Make statements. Try not to ask questions. Making statements is funnier. Feelings. Establish what you and your scene partner are feeling. Allow your character to change emotion and become affected by whatever happens in the scene. Movement. Don't just stand around. Improvisational performances need movement and energy. Pantomime objects. Exaggeration can be great. I once saw a scene where two people pretended to change a baby that was the size of a couch. It was hysterical. If you decide to mime an object, you must do something with it. For example, if you pantomime a broom and someone says, shut up, don't suddenly just drop the broom in midair. Pretend to hit them with it or put it down. Do what you feel. If you feel like doing something, just do it. Don't be afraid of doing something that has never been done before. In order to have a good improv, you must be prepared to embarrass yourself or at least allow your scene partner to embarrass you. Dare to be different. Go out on a limb. The more ridiculous, the better. Love. Love is funnier than hate. For example, if your scene partner gives you a car to fix, don't say you hate fixing things and spend the next 10 minutes complaining. Love fixing the car. Pretend that you are stealing or breaking things while he's not looking. Get into trouble. Identity. Give your scene partner and your character a name or identity. For example, your coworker Bobby. This will help the audience connect better. Visualize your scene. It's helpful to visualize where you and your partner are. For example, a farm or an office. Action. If you have a fight scene or an action scene, act it out in slow motion. It's usually funnier and safer that way. Change of pace. If you feel like the scene isn't working or going anywhere, do something different. Walk away or look around. Change your emotions or actions. This can help spark new ideas and give you better direction. Have fun. Great improv happens when you're having fun. So be playful. Some actors consider working on a soap opera a crash course in acting. Many soap actors find themselves having great demands placed on them, such as learning your marks and the large amount of script memorization that needs to be done in a short period of time. Some soap operas have a teleprompter for actors to read off of, but you don't want to solely depend on that. You need to be very familiar with your script and use the teleprompter as a guide. Here are a few tips. Learn to cry on cue, especially if you're a woman. Keep in mind that at one point in your career, you may have to play the bad guy. Never change your look without asking the director first. Try to stay beautiful as long as you can. It's the reason why they hired you in the first place. Learn how to kiss for the camera. Learn how to say your lines without flinching. And learn how to take direction 